So you want to make custom colors for Pokemon Close Combat. Well, it's actually not that hard, like at all. I feel like anyone could do it. And not only that, you should you should start sharing them on uh, everywhere because I just wish there was more and more people doing it. So the very first thing you got to do is download 2D Fighter Maker. You can, I think you can just look it up. But for right now, uh, the only link that I know that works is this 2D Fighter Maker second on uh, the 2D Fighter Maker Games and Dev Discord server. Usually, uh, you'd be able to go to Internet Archive, but right now their site is down. I'll go ahead and provide both links just in case whenever you're watching it, it's back up. But you'll just download 2D Fighter Maker. Make sure that you take it out of the zip file. You have to extract it into a normal folder, otherwise it won't work. But once you have it downloaded, go to where you have it downloaded. Again, make sure you... It'll say... Not compress, it'll say extract. Once you have 2D Fighter Maker as well as Pokemon Close Combat, here, I'll delete this for the for the tutorial. You'll go in here and you'll go into KGT Second Editor. Make sure it's the editor and not the game. Now whenever you open it up, it should be a screen like this, I believe. Uh, all you have to do is press file open and then go to your pokemon close combat launcher go ahead and find it wherever it is and then click on pokemoncc.kgt then you're going to want to go to character click on the character that you want to customize on palette and here are all the palettes you can see i've already have a custom one here so here is where you will start you'll just double click on the colors and then it'll bring up this uh color box and slider that you can or hue saturation loom rgb that you can go ahead and customize your character to i actually do want to edit this so i'm going to take a second all right that's pretty much all i needed to do but if you want to look at more of the character sprites you go to skills and here it has all of their animations that you can go ahead and click through just to make sure that everything is looking nice or if your character has other things like how polywhirl has polywhirl <laughs> polywrath has his whirlpool that has different colors associated with it as well as his bubble projectile which you can see changes as well but once you're done with your palette, you're going to want to go to File and Create Game File. Set your directory wherever you want it to go. Next, it'll automatically go Pokemon CC, Create, Yes, and then it'll take a little bit of time to write all the data. Alright, it looks like it's finished writing. After that, you won't have to create game file anymore. All you have to do is open, go to your brand new file it just created, and hit the KGT file in that folder. This will switch it up so that you're not in your actual launcher, you're just in your own special version of the game that you created. Now when you edit a palette, you only have to hit file and save. To get your palettes to show up in game, all you have to do is go to your specially created pokemon close combat folder go and find your character's file there's polyrath copy it right into your official pokemon close combat launcher you'll replace the file and destination if you want to make sure you don't lose the original file i'd either make a backup or you can just do a reinstall of the original launcher to get the original files back so now, whenever we open up Pokemon Close Combat, we can check if it works. And it looks like it did. And there's our custom palette. few things to note 
just because I want to be thorough, is uh, whenever you first open 2D Fighter Maker, uh, it might say that it's a virus. It's a known problem in this. It's not a virus. <laughs> it's it's just that Windows seeks it weird. There's also a problem with Windows 11, seeing it as a threat and hiding it from your folder. All you have to do is go to your antivirus and set an exception for it. Another thing to note is you can go into test play in 2D Fighter Maker to test out your palette. You don't Pokemon, actually have to go into combat. the entire game. I just can't get it to work. Uh, my inputs just don't read on it for some reason. The last thing I need to know, which is really important, is after every patch Pokemon Close Combat goes through, you're going to have to redo your palettes. This is because if you keep the same ones, you'll retain all the attributes of your character pre-patch. So you'll be playing a different character from your opponent online. This can cause desyncs, or if it doesn't, you'd, you'd just be playing a modded character. Christo pointed this out to me, and he also recommends saving RGB numbers or any numbers that correspond to your palette in some sort of physical or online notes. Thank you, Christo. I hope I see more and more palettes coming out day by day because I just love messing with colors and I want to see you mess with colors. Play Pokemon Close Combat, it's really fun. I s please.